What's up guys? I'm back again with another video and today um well it's a 26 as you can see and it's quite late but Nvidia have kindly put out a performance chart tweaking guide etc etc for Watch Dogs which comes out on PC, Xbox One and PS4 I believe um tomorrow the 27th. Um but ahead of that and because Ubisoft and Nvidia and Watch Dogs is all part of, well, they're uh, Nvidia partnered um, with the production and release of this game. Um, I know a lot of Nvidia graphics cards that are currently for sale are also including Watch Dogs as a free game, which is great. Um, but Nvidia have released this uh, Watch Dogs graphics performance and tweaking guide essentially to give everyone a hand at making sure that the game runs at optimal performance. And you obviously want to show off this brand new title, it's a brand new IP from uh, from Ubisoft, so they want to, want to make sure that this game runs at its best. Now there are a few things that I'm not going to cover everything, I'm just going to point to some, uh, some of the charts and some of the information that we've got. So basically they're covering everything we need to, uh, to cover when it comes to Watch Dogs and being able to play this game at a reasonable frame rate. Now firstly we're going to take a look at the minimum system requirements, recommended and then obviously the ultra system requirements. So at the minimum we need Windows Vista with Service Pack 2, Windows 7 with Service Pack 1 or Windows 8 64-bit. So these are all si these are actually all 64-bit OS's required to play this game because it's all running on a 64-bit, well it's a 64-bit game. You need an Intel Core 2 Quad AT400, the Q8400, or an AMD Phenom 2 X4940, uh, one at 2.66 gigahertz, and uh, uh, the AMD at 3.0 gigahertz, and the minimum of six gigabytes of RAM. Um, Watch Dogs will run with four, apparently, but you may experience frequent stuttering if you have less than four. Um, I can understand that actually and I've been playing the game um, I got my code early and I've been playing it today and um, I've noticed a few crashes and some issues and my system is essentially an i7 4770k and I have 8 gigs of DDR3 and a 780 and the game appears to crash infrequently I run out of RAM, I'm having some issues, I don't know if it's my Windows 7 installation or if it's the game itself, and I've played with some settings and I've tried to make it work better. Um, obviously you need DirectX version 11, and you need at least 24 gigabytes of hard drive space, which is kind of a lot, but not as much as um, uh, quite a few other titles, Titanfall, um, uh, what's another one, Wolfenstein, New Order, that is like 40 gigs, it's massive. Now the recommended system requirements are an i7 3770k so an ivy bridge cpu or the amd fx 8350 uh one at 3.5 gigahertz the other at 4 gigahertz um that's a 4 gigahertz standard chip anyway they from amd eight gigabytes of ram or more and a 560 ti or better obviously they're focusing purely on the, when it comes to GPU on NVIDIA GPUs, um, I have no information regarding AMD, so I can't give you any kind of recommended list there. Um, for the Ultra settings, you need an i7 4770K at its stock, which is 3.5 gigahertz, and at the and an, a 780 or better, so 780, 780 Ti, Titan, etc. Um, there's a bunch of recommended uh, recommendations for a variety of configs that can be found. There's a link. I'm going to put these links in the description anyway. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Obviously, there's a, there's a bunch of other information. There's a video here we can watch if you wanted to. Um, some looks at how things look with ambient occlusion on and off and different screenshots there. Um, so we can see how things look in-game. And I'm not going to really focus on these, but obviously with ambient, ambient occlu occlusion... I can get my words out. Performance. This is with an SLI Titan at 2600K. I don't know why a 2600K, not a 4770K um, at 4.8 gigahertz, 16 gigabytes of RAM. You're looking at under 60 with high HBAO. Um, and then obviously it goes up if you turn it all off. So no ambient occlusion and you're getting 70 frames plus or up to 70 frames per second, which is pretty good. And this is actually at 1080p. Um, I'm not sure if there's any other information. There's some anti-aliasing charts, I believe, as you scroll through. Uh, some more screenshots. 
some settings here. So you can see what happens if you turn anti-aliasing uh, off. It's the same system that they did the the, uh, the ambient occlusion, um, but now we're seeing that it, it can even climb even higher with all AA disabled, you're talking 120, 125 frames or something like that. It's really quite high. Obviously, you're only really going to see those frames if you're running a monitor that is, um, is capable of, of displaying that. Um, so, but more frames, even at 60 on a 60 hertz monitor, um, is all, always just good. You know, we always want more frames, um, even if we can't actually physically see them. We want a game to run at its best, highest performance, as PC gamers anyway. Um, and then we've got some uh, level detail stuff here, and we can see what the FPS is going to look like. Uh, with it on low, medium, high, and then ultra. So we're going to see it does come down a fair bit. It's not massive. And, um, well, that is pretty much it. So I don't really need to go over it much more. Um, uh, where is it? Where are you? I'm scrolling through this video, um, through this uh, this web page, and I'm trying to find a specific page now. Um, obviously, you've got some water detail. You can turn it uh, You can see what the FPS will look like. And uh, this is all going to vary. Um, as you play through so um, so yeah uh, it's great that Nvidia have you know brought us um, you know they've put this this out um, for us to uh, to kind of get a decent setup to play this game and here we go here are some optimal playable settings for the game so if you're running um, a 780 like me HB AO on high depth of field on on ultra LOD Reflections on ultra, high, ultra, ultra. It's almost all ultra and just like shaders on high. Um, obviously, if you're running Titan Black, which no one has, Titan Black SLI, which no one has, Titan or Titans in SLI, crazy, crazy pricing. You can pretty much run this, uh, everything turned up um, to its max, which is pretty epic, uh, to say the least. Um, and it's great that they've put out these configs for, um, you know, 46, um, a 460, GTX 460, right the way up to. Well, the Titan Black. Actually, everyone, you can buy the Titan Black. I'm thinking of the other Titan that's not out yet. Um, don't mind me. So, yeah, um, this is just pretty amazing, really. Thank you.